A few years ago, I made a serious promise to you, and that was to visit the very precise location that any one of our satellite-tagged golden eagles were to disappear in under suspicious circumstances. And you may remember that I previously reported to you about Fred, about Adam, and about Charlie. Well, I'm afraid that another eagle has disappeared, but under the circumstances of COVID-19, I've chosen not to visit Scotland, but to bring you this report from my home here in the New Forest. Let me introduce you to Tom. Look at him. What an absolute stunner. What a beautiful little bird. There's something absolutely magical about golden eagles, and especially when they're young. Tom was hatched last year at an iry in Argyleshire and he was fitted with a satellite tag and those satellite tags are remarkable pieces of technology they give us enormous amounts of data and I can show you a map here which has all of the data that we collected whilst Tom was alive. Now you can see this cluster here this is his natal territory that's where he grew up and that's why it's very dense here and then when he matured a bit, just like young golden eagles do, he started to wander, he went on a journey out here to the west, and then unfortunately he made this journey out here eastwards. And that small yellow dot you can see there is where his tag failed catastrophically in May of this year. And I've got another map here which shows us the points that we recovered from that satellite tag that were transmitted whilst it was working during the last two days of his life. And you can see him moving around this landscape. And look at the landscape. There's lots of patches here. Well, these are patches of burned moorland because this is driven grouse land. And these are the burned patches that are so typical of that landscape. During the last night of his life, he was roosting on a cliff here. Fantastic place for a young male golden eagle to be roosting, of course. But then he woke up in the morning of May the 18th. He moved a very short distance. And then that very expensive piece of very reliable technology catastrophically failed. It just stopped working suddenly. I'm joined by my colleague, Ruth Tingay. Uh, Ruth. For these tags to fail like that is highly unusual, isn't it? It is, yeah. The tags that we're using have been used all over the world on uh, satellite tag studies. Uh, they've got 98% reliability, although research has shown that satellite tag golden eagles in Scotland are 25 times more likely to fail than any other eagle tag anywhere else in the world. Fail catastrophically, that Yes, is. that's right. Um, we've actually got uh, a graph here showing the voltage output of Tom's tag. Uh, this is from the 1st of April up to the 18th of May when the tag stopped transmitting. Usually if a tag is going to fail, if it's going to be a technical malfunction, the first indication you get is in the battery voltage output. But you can see here, this is a pretty stable line. There's absolutely no concern looking at that, uh, that graph that there's any, any indication there's anything wrong with that tag. Sometimes people say to us, well, the tag might have just fallen off, but that's highly unlikely in a tag that's been fitted for you know, probably less than a year. That's right. Uh, the tags are, are designed, the harness that we use on the eagle is designed to drop off the eagle after three years so that we can retrieve the tag. Uh, and this is an example of one of those tags that's dropped off very recently. This was a tag that we fitted to a female golden eagle three years ago, but the tag continued to transmit data so we could tell where the tag was and our team went in to pick up this tag. And you can see here from the harness, you can see where the harness has actually frayed. Um, so it ha we know that it has dropped off naturally. It hasn't been sliced off by someone with a knife. But of course where Tom disappeared uh, was a spot that was known for raptor persecution. That's right. Uh, it's an area that we know um, as Strathbran. Um, some people may know it for being the location of the Strathbran Raven Cull a couple of years ago. It's also an area that was identified in the Golden Eagle Satellite Tag Review uh, Government Commission report. Uh, three years ago now that identified um, geographical clusters of suspicious areas where Golden Eagle satellite tags were vanishing. Um, so you've got the Angus Glens, that was one of the uh, clusters, uh, northeast part of the Cairngorms National Park, Monoliath Mountains, 
uh, and then down here is Strathbran, uh, and each of these red stars represents a satellite tag golden eagle that's either vanished in suspicious circumstances or has been found killed. Um, in the Strathbran area, the authors of that report had identified five satellite tag golden eagles that had vanished. Um, then we had two more last year, two of our birds, Adam and Charlie, in the same Which area. Which we reported upon when we went there. That's right. Um, and now this year, Tom, that makes eight satellite tag golden eagles that have vanished from this particular area, which is dominated by driven grouse moors. I wonder what the RSPB make of that. When up to Persecution UK contacted me to say that yet another satellite tag golden eagle had disappeared in Strathbran. I wasn't at all surprised, I was deeply frustrated and angry, frankly, because this bird joins a long and increasing list of magnificent golden eagles that have just disappeared in this area of intensively managed upland grouse moor. And it's not just golden eagles, we've had hen harriers and red kite also disappear. And add to that the list of confirmed raptor persecution cases that have actually been discovered. Just last year, for example, one of our very own satellite-tagged hen harriers, Rannick, from the RSPB's Hen Harrier Life Project, was found killed in an illegally set spring trap after undoubtedly suffering a long and lingering death. No one has faced the consequences for that crime, along with any of the others I've just mentioned. And add to that, poisoned red kite, poisoned raven, and a similarly trapped buzzard and you find an area that has rapidly become one of Scotland's raptor persecution hotspots. A real appalling reputation. And the reason it has become such is because the criminals are getting away with it. They carry on killing with impunity. In the 21st century in Scotland, our natural heritage is being diminished by serious and organised criminality. <laughs> What a beautiful bird. Not just a beautiful bird though, but an essential component of one of the UK's most fantastic ecosystems up there in Scotland. Now, I can't tell you precisely what happened to Tom the Golden Eagle on May the 18th, but what I can tell you is that it happened in an area that's infamous for its raptor persecution. So you tell me, what do you think happened to Tom the young golden eagle that morning in Strathbran?